Hi, my name is Samantha Hayek, and the disease I have chosen for my disease report is gonorrhea. Gonorrhea is a sexually transmitted disease that can infect both men and women. It can cause an infection in the rectum and the throat, but its main place of infection is genitals. Um, it is very common, especially in ages 15 to 24. However, any person that is not being safe can contract the disease. Um, gonorrhea is a bacterium that really likes to grow in warm, moist areas of the body. So that is why it was it's really prime in the reproductive tract and other moist areas of the body. The name. So the kingdom of gonorrhea is bacteria. The phylum is proteobacteria. Class is beta proteobacteria. The order is Neisseriales. Family is Neisseriaceae. The genus is Neisseria and the species is Neisseria gonorrhea. So as you can see in this image, this is a microscopic view of gonorrhea. So the scientist that discovered the bacteria Neisseria gonorrhea was Albert Nessier, and it was further named after him. He was a German physician who did many clinical studies, and he um, found that um, gonorrhea to be present in many of his patients and that he discovered the bacteria had created all the same symptoms in his patients, so therefore discovered bacteria, gonor Neisseria gonorrhea. And this is an image of Albert Nessier. The pathogenosis. So gonorrhea can spread from person to person through sexual contact. It's like gram-negative diplococcus bacteria and is oxidi oxidase positive. Um, Neisseria gonorrhea utilizes glucose, but not maltose, lactose, or sucrose. So it infects the mucus secreting epithelial cells and it divides by binary fission every 20 to 30 minutes. Um, Neisseria, gonor Neisseria gonorrhea can also attach to different types of epithelial cells via a number of structures located on the surface of gonococci. It is capable of altering these surface structures, which helps the organisms to evade an effective host response. The spread. So typically, the incubation period of gonorrhea is 1 to 14 days. However, symptoms can begin to showing 2 to 5 days, even 7 days after exposure to the gonorrhea. Um, in these images, you can see um, male <clears throat> and female genitalia where they have been infected by gonorrhea. Um, usually a symptom of gonorrhea is that you will have a yellowish greenish discharge coming from the genitalia area. So as I said before, uh, some, some symptoms in male is the greenish yellow discharge from the penis, but other ones are um, painful or swollen testicles as well as pain while urinating. However, both males and females, but mainly in females, can be asymptomatic, meaning that they have no symptoms. So that's why it's easy for gonorrhea to spread because they do not know they have it. Um, however, if they do have symptoms in females, it will be an abdominal pain during intercourse, painfulness while urinating. Um, they will also have a uh, yellowish greenish discharge from the vagina and as well as they'll have vaginal bleeding in between menstrual cycles. Some more symptoms that can occur from gonorrhea if it is infected in the throat or rectum are discharge, anal inching, soreness, bleeding, painful bowel, bowel movements. In the throat, it's sores in the mouth, which can be painless, but they also can have pain. It's lesions around the mouth too, so um, many times they'll just think, oh, it's a cold sore, or the confused strep throat with <clears throat> gonorrhea but it's actually gonorrhea so they don't go to a physician and take care um there's also red and painful throat there's a difficulty swallowing swallowing tonsillitis white or a yellowish discharge and as you can see this is an image of gonorrhea in the throat so 
These are extremely rare symptoms that can happen in an infected person with gonorrhea. So it can lead to arthritis if they don't take care quickly enough and it can um, spreading to your tendons and joints. It can also cause flu-like symptoms like fever, chills, and as you can see in this image, it can also cause a rash, which looks like an allergic reaction, but it's an actually a rash that happens on your palms, chest, and limbs due to gonorrhea. So if you're pregnant and you um, contract gonorrhea, it can cause problems for your baby. Um, if you give that infection to your baby during delivery, it can cause childhood blindness, um, a greater risk of miscarriage, preterm premature rupture of membranes, preterm birth, an infection of amniotic sac and fluid. Um, although if you do seek treatment, a lot of these problems reduce the risk of this occurring. So as you can see in this image, this is a child that has contracted gonorrhea because you can get conjunctivitis too. Um, and this is an image of the conjunctivitis in the child, infant. So treatment, so one of the earliest methods of treatment was mercury and research shows that surgical tubes were used to inject the mer mercury into the urinary opening. However, um, they switched from mercury to silver nitrate and so on to Portugal and so on to cubebs, which was an Indonesian variety of pepper and balsam of Cobeba, which is an extracted from a South American tree, that was mainly just effective for the discharge. Um, as they were coming to knowledge, they realized that more and more and more of these were ineffective in treating gonorrhea. So the treatment now that they use is an antibiotic, cefetrixone, which is an injection. It is used with atromycin and doxycycline. Um, however, as we use more and more of antibiotics, um, we are becoming more resistant. So antibiotics resistant is a problem in gonorrhea as gonorrhea is adapting to it and evolving and becoming um, less, and then uh, the antibiotic is becoming less effective to gonorrhea. So <clears throat> there is many complications that can occur. Untreated gonorrhea can cause serious problems in both men and women, as well as many other things. So in women, untreated gonorrhea can cause pelvic inflammatory disease, which um, is also known as PID, and PID can cause um, formation of scar tissues that blocks the fallopian tubes, ectotopic pregnancy, which means that um, pregnancy happened outside of the womb. It can lead to infertility and long-term pelvic abdominal pain. Um, in men, it can cause epidemitis, which is and then it, it's an infection in the genitalia where it can cause a man to be sterile and sometimes it could um, spread to your blood and joints, which I said before can cause arthritis, um, which is also extremely rare. Other <clears throat> complications are inguinal lymphodentis, penile edema, periuthral abscess, accessory gland infection, balanitis, prostatitis. If you do not treat bacteria, it can increase your chances of getting and giving HIV, as well as conjunctivitis, which I have stated earlier. So overall, the best prevention we have right now for gonorrhea is to just not have unprotected intercourse. Thank you for watching.